Hey guys, welcome back to Texit, where today we're going to do what we always do in a Minecraft series and build a zoo. The only thing is, I have literally no idea what the design's going to be because I haven't had time to think of it. So that's why I'm recording this now on Saturdays. I've got all night tonight to do a design and start the building process a little bit. So I honestly have no idea what you're going to see in the next clip because I haven't had time to think about it. But although I did have like a really quick idea in that... We've got a room down sort of there, so if we build through this side, we could have, like, an two underwater sort of... What what would they call it? Like, as in, like, partings? As in, if you've seen on, like, the water slides where you have, like, the sort of... The slide goes through, so you could have, like, the sort of underwater ocean creatures in here, and then it comes up into, like, the... On, on ground, the ground living creatures. Uh, but, yeah, other than that... I don't really have any idea. And then as for the creatures, there are so many of them. So I, I don't really know where I'm going to start. But I'm almost definitely going to have to do it like a biome at a time. Like there's a crab. So that could go underwater, I guess. But I know there's hamsters as well. And just a bunch of other ones. So it's... I, I don't know what to say because I don't have a clue what you're actually going to see in the next clip. So your guess is as good as mine, really. But um. Yeah, I'll, I'll, ju I'll just see you in the next clip and see what happens. Right then, so I think we will go with the uh, original design I had of a tunnel down here, being that being the entrance to the zoo, and then you obviously run down there, you've got the ocean stuff on either side, and then you come up the stairs, and then this open area around here will be the zoo. Although, if need be, it will get bigger, but for the time being, I'll just basically fill in this area here and try and get some creatures from desert, that biome over there, and then the sort of what's it, plains kind of area over here. We'll try and just get them all onto this one thing for the time being and then maybe separate them later on. Maybe not, depending on how many there are. But yeah, first thing I need to do is thingy off this, close this off like all the way down here, which could take a lot of sand. And I don't even know if I've got enough, even though I've got about a million stacks. Yeah, ho hopefully it will be enough because I can't really bother going to get more. I've broken about 17 shovels. Finish off this area, fortunately... We have already got these handy sponges, so what we can do is place a sponge down here, and it gets rid of the water for us. Oh, nearly all the water. There we go. Oh, no. oh there's a thing above us. Didn't, <laughs> didn't realise that. Well, anyway, sponges are very helpful. They will help us absolutely like, immensely in clearing out this tunnel. Oh, come on, let me out. There we go. And then, yeah, I don't even know what ocean tames there are, to be quite honest. I know there's a crab. I know there's a squid. I feel like I've seen a shark before, but I don't actually know. And then, actually, what I did have planned is, for the time being, I'll block this off because I'll need an absolute, just loads more sand to cover that, that area over there. But we could have it so the ocean ones can sort of swim between the two and we'll be able to see them from in here. But yeah, I'm going to need to do... I, I'm going to basically need to go and get a load more dirt, because we don't have any more. And then fill that in, get some tames, and that will hopefully start to make the zoo look good. As usual, we seem to have encountered a slight problem, in that I thought there were quite a lot of um, ocean creatures. But as it turns out, there are none. The, the mod pack adds no new ocean creatures, so it's literally squids or... The Guardian things, which I can't, I can't have both, because obviously the Guardians will kill the squids. So it's it's one or the other, and then crabs, realistically, which it's not exactly very exciting in terms of ocean things, but it's not all lost, because this is a pretty cool entrance, realistically, still, isn't it? Like, through there, up here, into the zoo. That That's still a really cool entrance either way, and what I could do, although you can't really see it, like at all is trying to do like little shipwrecks or something just to add like literally just to add a little bit of something and maybe it's one over there or something so yeah that it's not all lost but we haven't counted a problem it's raining again this is literally like the millionth time in a row like per day it started raining but anyway we flattened all this out so what i'm gonna do next is try and build not just like i'm not just gonna fence it off i kind of want like a wall of some sort but I don't really know how to do it. Maybe it's just like... Maybe it's just like this or something. Just something simple, realistically. It's nothing special. It's just just not your standard fence. Because I think this will look a lot nicer. Oh my god. You actually can put crabs on a lead. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But the only problem with crabs is... If I put them in the ocean part, they, they can probably just swim out. Unless I put it a block higher. Which 
it's 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 kind of done. It's not quite obviously. I want I'm gonna add more stuff into the middle. Yeah, if we put the if we put the crabs in here, we will need to raise it up a little bit. I wonder though, do crabs do they need air, or can they just? Well, I'll, I'll wait it out. If I start drowning but the crab doesn't, I'll assume they can just stay in water but choose not to. Right, well I'm drowning, but the crab seems absolutely fine. So I mean, it's probably got better lungs than me, but hopefully the crab should be fine to live underwater. And we'll just, I'll just go and get a bunch more of them. What? How? Can I, can I have the lead back crab? Thank you. Oh no, it's going to attack me if I... No! I just want the lead. Thank you. You stay underwater and just live your life. Oh no, that's not, that's not good. We're currently on mission to defend the crabs, and we're being chased by a bomb, in essence. Okay, skeleton's gonna play us a tune, that's fine, we can deal with that. Oh my god, I can kill it with the- I can kill it with the crabs! Look, the crabs are killing them! Oh no, it's, it's, it can get down here. There we go, there is the first land-based animal, we've got hamsters, we've got four of them, and look, look at that, they stand up every now and then. I don't know why they do it, but they just stand up. How cool is that? Right, now- I need the leads back. If you can just stay here. The only thing that I did... Look at that, they're standing up. The only thing that I did think of is, um, will they despawn if they're not named? I mean, the crabs are still there, I think. Yeah, the crabs, they're, they're just chilling by the looks of things, so they're still there, but I haven't really been that far away. I've definitely been out of the chunk, but I don't know. I don't know if they... I hope they don't despawn, because I, I think I have, like, two name tags, so... If they do despawn, there's another problem that I did I kind of failed to think about. Actually, let's go this way. Let's go and see what's over in this biome now. Okay, this is good. It's safe to assume they won't despawn. Hamster's still there, crabs are still down there, and we've got our next addition to the zoo. I mean it's becoming more of a petting zoo than a like a zoo where you'd see sharks and stuff, but a zoo nonetheless. Did I just lose one? No, that's all. I've got two rabbits and three ferrets. So I guess say hello to your new friends, the hamsters. Who you will be living here forever with. So I'll take your leads back. Thank you very much. And I'll go and try and find some new additions. And there we go. The zoo is pretty much complete. We've got quite a lot of new animals. We've got a load of frogs. You kind of had to be separated from the others. Because the ferrets kept trying to eat them. Which isn't good. The dart frogs are very annoying to get back. Because they kept poisoning me. We've got a ferret trying to eat the frogs. So we will lure you back away. Some hedgehogs, we got hamsters, which I accidentally tamed. And I know, th how do you accidentally tame a hamster? Well, I fed them seeds to heal them and ended up taming them at the same time. So, I mean, we've got some pet hamsters now. Llamas, some pea chicks. I've no idea what they actually are. Peacocks and some draft horses. And then we've got some rabbits. We've got, what else do we got? We've got some parrots. And then I think, oh no, lambs. Yeah, we've got some lambs. Because why not? Might as well bring some lambs here. And that's about it on the animal side. Decorations wise, I think it's actually looking relatively nice. Especially if you only look this way. If you look over here, it still looks a bit sort of plain. We need something else to go in here, I think. And then uh, torches, yeah, we need some more light as well. Otherwise, things are going to start spawning. But um, other than that, I think it is really coming along quite nicely. So, I think what we'll probably do is off camera at some point. Oh, that's a, no, that's a good point. The crabs, I may have to... Um, build a little separate oh if, maybe if we even just do like a little extension over this way yeah we could do that because i try to bring them in but i then realized they hurt anything that walks into them so the crabs at the minute have just gone wherever they've gone i, I don't really know to be honest I, th I think they've wandered off some of them may have died i don't know so yeah we'll possibly do a little a little side parting for the crabs and then there are still polar bears we could get and possibly wolves, but the wolves definitely can't come in here, because otherwise they will eat presumably everything else. I, I, I'd assume they'd go after hedgehogs, they'll probably go after the ferrets and the rabbits. So yeah, wolves definitely can't come in. And I think that's about it. That's de It's definitely about it for the Animania ones, other than obviously like the sheep and the pigs and stuff, but we're not, we're not bringing those in. So yeah, that's about it for Animania. Possibly some more for Quark, because that's the one that the crabs are from and i will hang on can i not is there not a way to check them the mods on here there probably is but i'll just do that off camera possibly get some more quark ones uh build a little side parting off camera get a polar bear that's a possibility oh i'm being shouted yes yeah, so anyway what i was saying is pretty much do some stuff off camera do that for the crabs possibly get a polar bear maybe some wolves 
And that's about it really for the episode, I think. We will also need to do that off camera as well, but that's that's a thing for another day. But yeah, so through the entrance, up into the zoo. And I'd say it's I'd say I've I've done relatively well. So, on that note, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.